Hi there, my name is Anastasia Forrest and I am a 10 year Hodgkin lymphoma survivor. Um, at five years out with this disease, you're considered to be cured. So at 10 years out, I'm extremely grateful. Um, I have two kids and a wonderful husband and life is good. But I've been thinking a lot about how I can contribute or give back to people that are newly diagnosed or going through treatment for this disease. Um, and today while I was cleaning up the garage, I came across some papers that showed me exactly what I can do. Um, these papers are from literally 10 years ago, July of 2009, and right now we're currently in July of 2019. Um, and at this time I was dealing with something called bleomycin toxicity. Um, and a little bit of research showed me that this is a very real problem that is still happening um, and causing people to die. Um, because of a lack of either awareness or a breakdown in communication between doctors and hospitals. Um, so if I didn't have my mom advocate for me the way that she did, and she basically told the hospital what tests to give me, um, I probably may not, I might not be here because uh, undiagnosed bleomycin toxicity leads to pulmonary fibrosis, and that is, uh, leads to, can lead to death. So guys, I, I feel very strongly about this. Obviously, um, if you are getting treatment for Hodgkin's lymphoma or, a, um, or another cancer that they are using bleomycin um, in your treatment, um, I want you to be aware of the, first of all, the symptoms of the bleomycin toxicity um, and also the, the way that you would get this diagnosed um, because it's, it's important. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my story with you. I hope that this is helpful. <clears throat> so basically, you know, your doctors will be asking you, um, do you, exp are you having any shortness of breath? Are you feeling tightness in your chest? Like they monitor you, you know, as you're going through your chemo. Um, so they would ask me and you know, the only thing that I remember feeling and saying that I felt was a sort of feeling of lightness in my chest um, or a feeling of, yeah, like a coolness or a lightness in my lungs, you know? And that was didn't really set off any alarm bells because <clears throat> that doesn't sound like a very alarming symptom, right? So anyway, but that's all I experienced at that time. Um, when I was about, oh, three or four treatments away from finishing my whole chemo regimen, um, I came down with a very high fever. Um, and I was also experiencing shortness of breath such that I would be waking up gasping for air, that kind of thing. So my mom took me to the emergency room. At this time I was 25, yeah, 20, I just turned 25. She took, she took me to the emergency room. Um, they admitted me. They did many tests. Um, and I was reading my mom's letter that she wrote, they, you know, and I remember it brought back the memories. They did uh, numerous bronchoscopies. I remember getting like two or three of those. Um, blood gases, um, which is a certain kind of blood test. Um, they were giving me antibiotics uh, through, you know, the IV. Uh, they were doing all this kind of stuff, but I kept getting worse. I was there for, I think, three or four days just getting worse. I couldn't, I couldn't walk down the hallway without oxygen. I couldn't go to the bathroom without, I mean, I had to carry the oxygen with me wherever I went. I had to go in the, like, going to the shower was a, a terrifying experience. Um, it wasn't fun, and, uh, and and they didn't know what to do. Doctors, the oncologist, I don't know why they didn't know what to do, but my mom researched, uh, you know, this, my symptoms, and she was like finding out, well, oh, bleomycin toxicity, bleomycin toxicity, like, and she saw in her research that the only way to properly diagnose bleomycin toxicity was with a PET scan, which they had not done, so, my mom basically insisted that they order a PET scan. They ordered the PET scan and sure enough, the PET scan showed the um, pneumonitis, you know, and they, they described them as densities throughout the lung, basically. Um, they show up on a PET scan. So as soon as they had the PET scan, they started me on a high dose regimen of prednisone. And I saw what it was. It was like, it started out at like 45 milligrams per day. Then it went to um, 20 for a while and then it went to 10. So they, they taper it off. Um, but I began to improve like 
within, you know, within the day, within as soon as they started the prednisone, my body calmed down from the toxicity. Um, so thank goodness for my mom. <laughs> I'm really grateful. Um, but again, the purpose of me making this video is to let people know that maybe uh, don't have that person advocating for them or they're not well enough to advocate for themselves um, at that time. If you guys, if you start experiencing symptoms of shortness of breath, high fever, um, you need to ask your doctor to give you a PET scan because um, it literally could save your life. So anyway, I trying to think if there's anything else to share with you about that. I just, I mean, I was on prednisone for a while. Um, I saw, I followed up with pulmonologists and it did, it, it, from what I'm reading, I read the reports, um, it did appear to get worse in certain areas. Like it said, at first it wasn't in the right lung and then they saw some in the right lobe um, and things like that. So, but then it got better. So, um, and basically the shortness of breath did improve immediately. Like I remember, I think they released me from the hospital like two or three days later. Um, so I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, um, you can reach out to me, um, leave a comment at the, on the bottom of the video. Um, yeah. So basically just keep an eye out for shortness of breath and fevers and make sure your doctor gives you a PET scan so you can see if there is some pulmonary toxicity. Um, in me, I've been completely cured. I'm careful with things like oxygen, like we're not really supposed to go scuba diving once we, you know, once you have this uh, bleomycin toxicity, you're supposed to avoid high doses of oxygen. So be aware of that. Um, but yeah, my heart just goes out to the people that have lost children or lost loved ones due to bleomycin toxicity um, when it could have been diagnosed with a PET scan. Um, so, all right, guys, be well, healing to you. Bye-bye.